first went to school, I went for veterinary medicine. I always loved animals. I used to have just way too many guinea pigs as a kid. And I was always interested in healing, you know. But then I heard someone singing on stage, and I thought, I think I could probably do that. The voice of a miracle, the song resounds. A melody of hope on fertile ground. I've always loved to sing, I've always sang since I was a little kid, but I always wanted to be a veterinarian. But now, you know, singing is just another way to heal. I used to be a big fan of soccer. Um, I used to be into, into Chelsea, <laughs> Chelsea, <laughs> Man United. And I like David, David Beckham. That's my guy. I'm sorry. <laughs> what attracted me to Michael is that when the first time I spoke to him, he was a person that you can definitely tell he was a man of integrity and a man of character. So when I first met him, I definitely knew that I wanted him in my life. I just thought maybe as my best friend or something like that. For me, it was a combination of the incredible talent, of course the beauty, without, without a shadow of a doubt, the talent. <laughs> but the inc incredible talent, but uh, coupled with the humility. Those are the two things that made her stand out um, from, from most. Manhattan School of Music. Basically, I came over here in 2000, uh, to New York in 2004 to study at Manhattan School of Music, and in 2005, Alicia uh, came to do her masters. And so, basically, uh, we met at school. Yes, at Manhattan School of Music, we both lived in the dorms, and so we would see each other all the time, going back and forth on our way to class. We both actually were doing a lot of musical ventures before we met. I have not been to Nigeria yet, and I do not speak Nigerian dialects, you know, none of them. <laughs> we joke about it because what it is, is that she, she's so good with languages, that's one of the things that kind of made her stand out. when it comes down to the Yoruba translations, or even some of the Yoruba lyrics from scratch, Michael's definitely you know, going to be the expert. Which was to create beautiful music. That, that was, that's one thing that, that we always had to come up and do. But also uh, creating the music that actually touches people's hearts, that, that encourages people. Like, in other words, it has a function. We were in Yoruba church, and my family is Yoruba. Yeah, I speak Yoruba. It's funny, when I, when I grew up, my mom would speak to me in Yoruba, and then I'd be playing English. How old are you? <laughs> are you gonna answer? That day. I feel like the common theme of the album is about hope and about healing. We have different lives, we have different stories. Who knows what people have gone through? I personally hope that a certain burden whatever burdens will be on their mind will be lifted up. You know, everybody has problems or whatever that is. And I, just, I just hope that this music uh, uh, um, encourages them to press on, press through them. Music basically is what we do for a living. That's what we study. And that's, 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 it, it, we count it as a blessing to be able to make a living and do something that we love. Under the umbrella of music, you, we have our band. You know, Michael plays bass at Brooklyn Tabernacle. I sing there as well. I have my own private voice studio where I teach students of various ages to a 
apply healthy techniques to their voices to sing any type of music that they like. And we also produce music for other people. But it will be a, a very exciting venture for us to go to, to Africa, Nigeria, or wherever, just to spread the music. Yeah.